Hello, welcome to this video. I thought it was about time that I shared my thoughts on this beautiful palette. This is the Tati Beauty palette created by Tati Glamour Guru. I'm sure you've heard of her. I didn't want to do a first impressions because I think first impressions can change. You can love something at first sight, but then using it a little bit, you can start to hate it or the other way around. But I loved it immediately and I'm still loving it. That's just what it is. So um, yeah, before we jump into the video, please subscribe. It would, you know, make me feel great. You would, I would send you a virtual hug. So yeah, please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. What am I doing? And hit the bell so that you get a notification every time I upload a video, which is not as frequent as it should be, but sometimes they're there. Okay, shut up, Shilly. Let's just start. Okay, first off, the packaging. It, mm, I like it, it looks beautiful, but after a few uses, mine is already looking loft, but I don't mind that because it's what's on the inside that comes. It is really hefty, it is you know, it feels a luxury, like a really luxury palette when you lift it up, when you hold it. So that's always a nice bonus. I did see some um, videos before. I, what is this doing? Hmm. I did see a few videos on the palette before I got mine, so just saying. And everybody was talking about a mirror and I'm like, <laughs> a mirror. Can it be so special? Well, yes, it can. Wow, I am truly, truly, truly amazed. Hey, there's you. By the quality of this mirror. It is huge and wow. I never thought I could be so amazed by a mirror, but here I am being amazed by a mirror. And then I'm sure you have seen this palette on the inside. It is gorgeous so we have like um the names for each color row and then we have each finish which are matte sequin metallic and a glitter row which i gotta tell you i was in it for the glitter at first but i love every single row of it and today i am going to be a basic bitch because i am just going to stick to a very neutral soft glam which you probably have seen people do a million times with this palette, but it's because I really want to create a look for New Year's Eve on camera using this super dark cool toned row, the memory row, and then I also want to create um, another option for New Year's Eve with this palette, a super sultry, smoky, um, burgundy look using the poet row. So, since I do want to film those two videos and I am going to use these rows, I just thought I would give you a very soft glam. I am going to start off with my eyebrows just so that I have a little guideline of where I'm going with this look. And I am going to use the Dirty Blonde MAC Fluid Brow Gel Cream thingy to do my brows. I just want a softer brow, just a little bit filled in. Still beautiful and sharp, but not that really strongly look like the carved out brow because I think it would overpower the soft glam that I am planning on doing. Nope, going too high there. Nope, actually, we're going for a soft look. Keep your hands in check. Okay. I know they're not even, but it's just a little guideline to start doing my eyes and I always adapt them after I do my foundation because I am not the most precise worker around my brows when I apply foundation. I just like to have a little guideline now for how much eyeshadow I want to apply and then perfect them after my Foundation is on. Double work. I know, just it's just who I am. 
And I do always use a base for my eyeshadow and I'm using the MAC Paint Elite Paint Pot as usual. It just works. It just works great, you know? What can I say? My mom never used to uh, use a base and I let her use mine for a few days and now she's hooked on it. It just make sure that everything stays in place that it doesn't move that your eyeliner doesn't start bleeding when you get like a little bit more tired and your oil and your eyelids just start getting a little bit more oily so yeah if you don't believe me you should ask my mom because right now she is also loving using this eye base I will say it's, it's an eye base that you do feel a little bit on your lid if you apply too much because it is a heavier consistency but I don't mind it because it just keeps everything so nicely in place. Maybe I should zoom you guys in so that you can see what I'm doing on my eyes. Hello. Gosh, it just stays so beautiful. It's just such a pain to get how beautifully these glitters are on camera like even those sequin row oh wow of some of them you can tell how beautiful they are other the camera just washes them out which is a shame but <laughs> we are going to start start off with a little bit of the matte soup in our crease and I'm just using this on a very fluffy brush do you guys have ordered the palette because I am going to be honest I have watched Tati for such a long long time and I love her videos, I love her reviews, and I was like, oh, if Tati brings something out, it must be amazing, you know? Because she's all about the quality and being honest in her, all our opinions about the eyeshadow quality that she has tested from other brands, and I'm like, wow, if she does something, it must be great, so I ordered it. And it is great. The shadows are beautifully pigmented and blend really really easy. With some shades like using the black there for me is a little bit of a learning curve because I was in the beginning going in way too hard-handed. You really don't need to pick up a lot of pigment on your like you don't really need to go into the palette just a light touch is enough tap off the excess and go in because if you use too much like there's a lot of pigment on your eyes blend down and it's just not what you imagined another question that i have is what look would you like to see me create with this palette because of course like what i'm doing now is just another neutral look but Hey, I just love the neutral looks, but is there something that you really want to see me create? Like, I do really... Oop, hair. I do really, really want to create, like, a beautiful smoky eye with that dark row. If you have any requests about what I should create, please let me know. Okay, so then I am going to go in with the matte ritual shade, which is a very beautiful dark brown. I am just very carefully placing it on the outer edges. You know what the nice thing about this one is? Since I have it, I have to say that I have been reaching for this palette a lot because what I'm doing now is just a very beautiful, easy, soft look, which I guess a lot of us like. 
but even when I go out I also reach for this palette because it just has such beautiful glitters in them and oh, I don't know man when I first saw it I was like it's a neutral palette but now when I have it I use it like almost every day when I wear makeup I don't wear makeup every day the only thing is what well, sucks is that I live in Belgium and the amount of customs that I had to pay hmm you know way 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 too much of like oh yay my tati palette arrives today like the mailman rings the bell and I open my front door and I'm like it's here and then yeah so many customs please and I'm like what but you know what it is worth it because wow this palette is beautiful the only thing is when she brings out other stuff it will ruin my bank account that's for sure I don't know if you can see how easy and beautiful these are blending I'm just adding little by little because that's just what I like I don't like to apply a lot of pigment right away but you definitely can with this palette should I add in a little bit of orange? oh why the hell not so I am going to go in with the matte story shade which is a beautiful orange tone taking that oh my gosh I really need to clean the brushes just pretend I'm using a clean brush I am just very, with a soft hand, placing a little bit of that orange into the crease to warm up the look. I am not going to do any swatches on this palette because, first of all, swatches do not say a lot about the product itself. And I am sure that you have seen a bazillion swatches by now, so... Oh, I realized I am not explaining what I'm doing. I am just going back and forth, switching the brushes and reapplying some of that dark brown, orange, light brown until I am happy and satisfied with the look. Maybe I'll go for this beautiful, beautiful coppery one. Even though on camera it's just... It's just such a pain because this palette really really is gorgeous but on video it just doesn't look that way I'm just taking it on my finger because I do prefer to apply everything except the mattes with my finger I really love the way how the sequins look when you apply them with your finger how the metallic looks and how of course the glitter with my finger looks I just I just think it looks way more intense and the shade just pops a little bit better. Can you see it? Can you see it? Because I can because I'm looking down for you guys. I hope I'm in frame and in focus. Oh yes I am. Look. Isn't that beautiful? You know what? Just to go a little bit extra crazy. I am going to take the Sumi row and which is like this row a little bit of that glitter just a really really tiny bit not gonna use a glitter glue or a wet base or anything like that so these are the glitters I am not picking up a lot of that glitter just because I don't want an opaque layer of glitter I just want a little extra sparkle because I love sparkle there is never enough glitter but for the soft look, I just want like a little, little specks of glitter, nothing too crazy, just like a soft party on my eyes. 
Maybe I'll even mix in some of the sweet glitters, which are the more orangey tones. And I know I said I wouldn't apply a lot of glitter, but I just can't help it. Once my fingers are like finding their way into the glitter, I'm like, <gasps> give me more. But yeah, again, I don't think you can see on camera how beautiful it is, but I am scared. Should I or should I not? I bought the L'Oreal Matte Signature Eyeliner in copper. And I am afraid of using it because I am not the greatest at eyeliner, but I wonder if it would just take it to the next level, even though I said I wanted to soft glam. So yeah, I have never seen this before. I don't know if this is a new product or if it's just new to me. Oh man, I'm going to regret this. But for you guys, I am going to try it. One thing I can say, this is definitely not matte at all. I don't know if you can see that, but it has like a slight sheen to it. This is L'Oreal, definitely not matte. I think I like it. It doesn't bleed, which is a good one. Oh, it wasn't entirely dry, which is my fault, but it isn't going anywhere. So that's also great. It's just, yeah, right now, see when I rub it, you can see, maybe not on camera, that it has a sheen to it. Wow, I'm getting it in my lashes. How am I? Wow. Oh gosh, I want to try to wing it out, but I am so scared because... <laughs> stress me out so much one thing is that i think that i can't get a really neat neat line with it i don't know what it is not my greatest work but you know what pretend that it's even you guys don't see a thing you know uh, and if you pretend it's okay, I'll pretend it's okay. I don't have anywhere to go today, so it's fine. It's absolutely 100% fine that my wings aren't even. I can live with it. Don't throw things, actually. It's just makeup. Okay, I am going to do my foundation off camera. And I'll be right back with you guys to finish up the eyes. Okay, so my skin is... Are done. Are done. And I am going to finish off the lower lash line. I am just going to dip in immediately in the matte story shade and blend that underneath my eyes. Oh, don't drop it, Julie. Preferably, don't drop it. I am taking this in until probably around halfway my eye. Well, maybe I'm taking it in two thirds of my eye, just leaving the inner third blank because I am going to apply a little bit of that metallic shade in there. Now taking a little bit of Ritual the Dark Brown, not much. And then I am going to take the metallic story shade which we have used on our eyes on the inner third of my lower lash line. And for the finishing touches, I am just going to take the metallic shade in Aura and use that to highlight on my inner corner. So just taking a little bit of that and pop it in here. Okay, my brows have stayed intact during my foundation, so only thing I am going to do now is use a little bit of the Benefit Gimme Brow. Oh yeah, did I even mention it? I just said Dolly Beauty. This is the textured neutrals volume one palette. 
I just assumed that you knew that <laughs> because this has been a quite popular palette and I have seen it in lots of people's and their favorite videos and all of that but I understand it. It is a very nice palette with a very nice quality to it. The shadows are very blendable and yeah, I'm just going to pop on a little bit of L'Oreal Lash Paradise and really coat my lashes. Okay, then eyeliner that got in my lashes. Not so easy to apply mascara over that because it has clung my lashes together but now I know that for the future. Next up for the lippies I am going to use the Spice Lip Liner by MAC. Just line my lips with them. Okay, that's that. And now for lipstick I am going to use the MAC Powder Kiss Lipstick in my Tweety which is a beautiful warm shade. Kind of neutral, kind of not for my skin tone because I'm pale but I think it would pair beautifully with this eye look so let's see of course you can just pair it with an even more neutral lip to keep it even more soft glam or you can just pop on a gloss or something like that to keep it super soft but i actually quite like it like this just going to set my face with some all nighter setting spray then this is my finished look. Let me know what you think of it. If you want me to do certain looks with it, please let me know. Or if you still want to swatch video or something like that, hit me up. I'll do it for you. And please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and I hope I see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I am going to show you my beautiful glittery look. Up close. You'll be able to see how beautiful this glitter is. Uh, please do not mind my super messy uneven eyeliner, but just look at the beautiful sparkle.